Chase Pearl! Oh. Here you go, girl. As cute as this clip is, it is not scientifically correct. Pearls are formed by oysters as a defense response to foreign objects that land on the mantle. A foreign object could be anything from a parasite to a piece of sand. If the oyster deems this particle as a threat, it starts to secrete and cover the particle in knacker. Layers and layers of this knacker are developed and the beautiful pearl is formed. As you have probably already guessed, this is phylum bivalvia. The phylogenetic tree for phylum mollusca includes bivalvia, monoplacophora, gastropoda, cephalopoda, and scaphopoda. So what do bivalves look like? How is this scallop swimming around? Let's take a look at their anatomy. The shell, mantle, visceral mask, and foot characteristic of the mollusk common body plane are seen in bivalves. In addition to these features, bivalves have refractor muscles to control the movement of the foot and adductor muscles to open and close the shell. The gills are used for suspension feeding. The digestive gland, gut, and anus make up the digestive system. The heart pumps the hemolymph through the bivalve's open circulation system. The gonads function in reproduction, and the excurrent and incurrent siphons facilitate water flow. Bivalves are abundant in the fossil record, first appearing in the Middle Cambrian approximately 510 million years ago. A relatively common find, fossilized bivalves are useful in many fields of science, including paleontology, geology, oceanography, and climate science. Pictured on the right are bivalves and gastropods in outcrop. Oysters serve a very important role in the ecosystem, but most importantly as water filters. The valves in oysters can clean and filter water of organic and inorganic particles resulting in cleaner water. In recent years, the world's oyster population has dropped significantly due to invasive species and general environmental decline. Our paper by Anna Bielan et al. studies the differences in stress response between invasive and native bivalves. The two model organisms used in this experiment were the native Anodonta anatina and the invasive Cine anodonta woodenia. Well, it is important for us to study about bivalve because they are important for our life. In the study paper, the scientists compared two species of closely related inflagony. The idea was to understand what causes one species to tolerate their environment while other don't. In order to prove which one tolerate bad conditions, the scientists compared their change in enzymatic physiology, thermal stress, and stress in zinc. Overall, the invasive species succeeded. They tolerate most enzymatic physiology and the others. However, the most important is about tolerating thermal stress especially in the world we live in today where the water body temperature changes frequently and it gave them to survive more than the native species. You may be asking yourself why this is important. Well, this research is important to us because humans cause a lot of the stresses on animals of all types, including those in phylum bivalvia. If we continue to allow these pressures, we stand to lose a lot of the natural biodiversity in our fresh waters because they will be outcompeted, and from this we may lose a large food source. Oysters have been in the human diet for over 700 years as a delicacy that provides humans with many nutrients and health benefits. These elements of oysters make them an extremely healthy food that boosts the body's overall function and health. Some of these health benefits include high levels of protein, increased bone health, immune function, blood circulation, weight loss, as well as increased libido, heart health, and wound healing. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Flash, flash!